Hello, welcome to this lesson in Mastering 5th Grade Math. We're going to solve some word problems with fractions multiplied by other fractions. And it's not always the case, but very, very frequently when you read a word problem, the word of is going to be your keyword to look for, for multiplication. So let's just see what happens here. James has one-fourth a gallon of milk. He drinks one-third of the milk that he has. How much milk did James drink? So the key word here is he drinks one-third of the milk, of the milk that he has. But we know he has one-quarter gallon, so we multiply those two things together. We have one-quarter gallon is what he has, one-third of it's what he drinks. So we multiply that because, again, we're chopping down the quarter that he has. We're chopping it into thirds. So what we're going to have is one-fourth, this is how much milk he has on hand, right? And then we are uh, multiplying by one-third. So we're chopping it into thirds. So then all we do is multiply by the tops, multiply the bottoms, four times three is 12. This is already simplified. There's nothing else left to do. So he actually drinks one-twelfth of a gallon that day because even though he has a quarter gallon, one-fourth of a gallon in the, in the fridge, he only drinks a third of it. So he's drinking much less than a fourth of a gallon, and that is a one-twelfth. That is much less uh, there. All right, the second problem uh, says that Claire has two-thirds of a candy bar and gives one-sixth of her candy to a friend. How much candy did Claire give away? Notice the key word here. She gives one-sixth of her candy to a friend. All right. Notice that there's no keywords in here like sum or difference or anything like that. So we're looking to see also the keywords of, but also just what does it mean? If she has two-thirds of a candy bar and she gives one-sixth of her total candy away, then we're chopping up what she has into six pieces, and that's one-sixth of it's what she gives away. So in terms of math, what Claire has is two-thirds, and she's multiplying by one-sixth because that's how she's chopping it down. And so we multiply the tops. 2 times 1 gives me 2. We multiply the bottoms. 3 times 6 gives me 18. This is the answer. We always want to simplify, and we know that these are even numbers. So we divide the top by 2 and the bottom by 2. 2 times 2 gives me, uh, I'm sorry, 2 divided by 2 uh, gives me 1. 18 divided by 2 gives me 9. So the answer is 1 ninth is how much she gave away. So that's how much candy she gave away. And it makes sense because she had two-thirds of a candy bar and she gave away one-sixth. So she gave away a pretty small amount. One-ninth of anything is fairly small. Chop something into nine pieces, one little piece of it, it's not very much candy. So these are two uh, problems here. I just wanted to give you a little bit of practice with reading a problem and seeing what to do. Mostly when you're working with fractions, you're trying to determine, should I add them, should I subtract them, should I multiply them or divide them? When we're multiplying, we're usually looking for keywords like of. We're also looking like, uh, for keywords like product, uh, because the word product means multiply. Of course, you have, if you see the word multiply in there, then you know that it's dealing with multiplication. Once you know what to do, it's easy to write it down and do the same steps that we've been learning for multiplying fractions up until this point.